Da -dun 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 -dun. Show World. Welcome to Show's World Gamers, Josh here, and welcome back to the channel. And it's the end of another week, which means it's time for our Week in Review. But this is a special week, as it's Zelda week. So we're definitely going to be jumping into that new Zelda game. But I did want to take a moment here to let you guys know about this week's biggest news stories, a few of this week's gaming announcements, and of course this week's new video game releases but do me a huge favor if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun all right gamers let's kick off this week in review with a few news stories now sony did have a playstation state of play showcase this week ahead of the tokyo game show where we did receive info about upcoming astrobot dlc coming later this year adding speed run levels and more bots to find along with info on over 25 other games, most of which were updates with a few games getting release date announcements. The showcase ended with our first look at Ghost of Yotai, the sequel to Ghost of Tsushima scheduled to release next year. Now, we also got a special Sonic Central showcase this week from Sega, where we got updates on everything Sonic, from Sonic mobile games, console games, and PC games, to Sonic DLC, which is coming to multiple games like Super Monkey Ball, Banana Rumble, as well as Two Point Museum. We also found out about new Sonic figures and Lego sets, as well as comics. And we got a new trailer for the upcoming Sonic X Shadow Generations game, releasing on October 25th. And the showcase ended with a look at the next Sonic movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 3, releasing in theaters later this year in December. Now, speculation about the state of one of Ubisoft's most anticipated games in a while has began gaining ground with many in the gaming industry expecting news that Assassin's Creed Shadow, the highly anticipated first Assassin's Creed game taking place in Japan and scheduled for release on November 12th, will be delayed. This sentiment comes as Ubisoft has announced the cancellation of their gaming showcase this week for Tokyo Game Show, as well as a media event scheduled to take place at the event, where they were scheduled to show off the game to media with a playable demo. Unfortunately, this did come to fruition as Ubisoft has delayed the game until February 14th to ensure the game is polished at release. Next up, let's take a look at a few gaming announcements from this week. Now, Like a Dragon, Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii receives an announcement trailer, as well as a February 28, 2025 release date ahead of the Tokyo Game Show. The spin-off of the mainline Yakuza series has you taking the role of Goro Majima, a once-feared legend in the Yakuza world who has lost his memory and sets sail in search of treasure. The game is sure to be packed with the over-the-top hilarity the series is known for when it releases on the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series systems next year. Now, a few of my favorite announcements we received at the PlayStation State of Play Showcase were the Legacy of Kane announcements. We did get this trailer showing off Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver 1 and 2 Remaster Collection, releasing later this year on December 10th. But that's not all. We also found out that the original PlayStation 1 Legacy of Kane Blood Omen is coming to PlayStation Plus in October. This game is an absolute hidden gem and one of my favorite games on the console. Now, Tanuki Pond Summer received an announcement trailer this week. The game appears to be a cozy kind of life sim game, kind of in the style of like Animal Crossing and games like that, with a town just filled with wacky characters. But it also has some BMX style bike riding with rails to grind around the city. The game is coming to Nintendo Switch, Xbox systems, and PC, but no release info has been given at this time. Now the Starbites Taste of Dessert, actually it might be Taste of Desert, not sure there, received an announcement trailer this week showing off a colorful anime inspired adventure role playing game. The trailer showed different gameplay styles from driving to turn based strategic battles with mechs and even running around exploring on foot. The game is coming to the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation systems, PC, as well as Xbox systems, but no date was given for that game either. Now, Sonic Rumble was shown off at the Sonic Central Showcase. The game is coming to mobile and PC, but I'm really hoping we get a console release soon after that launch. The game is an online survival game in the style of games like Fall Guys and Stumble Guys, but taking place in the Sonic universe and not leaning so heavily on the physics-based gameplay controls like those other games. 
Alright gamers, let's finish up with this week's new video game releases. Now The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom released this week exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. The all new Zelda game turns back the clock going back to the three quarter top down classic Zelda style but with mechanics from newer games in the series. Now this game switches things up in a major way as you will be playing as Princess Zelda instead of Link for most of the game. I have been eagerly anticipating this game and will be checking it out here on the channel, so definitely check back for that, and I will link a video, our first video of the playthrough, at the end of this video. Now Epic Mickey Rebrush, released this week on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, PC, and Xbox Series systems. The game is a 3D action adventure game starring Mickey Mouse and has him journeying through familiar locales from classic Disney animation and even theme park attractions. This is a remake of the 2010 Epic Mickey game with updated visuals and controllers and I played some of this game and it's a blast. This is another game we're probably going to be playing on the channel so definitely stay tuned for that. Now Earth Defense Force World Brothers 2 is available now on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, as well as on PC. This is a spin-off game in the Earth Defense Force series, loaded with more than 100 unique characters and over 100 missions. You will select four teammates from among those you have collected and create your own team perfect for your playstyle. Select your equipment and then deploy in a battle to save the Earth. Now Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports dropped today on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series systems. The game has you joining your favorite classic Looney Tunes characters like Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, and more as you play wild sporting events including soccer, tennis, and golf. Now also, Renatus or Renatus, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, I would say Renatus maybe, is releasing tomorrow on the Nintendo Switch, the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, and PC. The game is a full-blown, action-packed, magical role-playing game in which two people with different perspectives fight for their ideals in a realistic version of Shibuya Tokyo. And this game looks like some fun. I may check this out on the channel. If I did, I'll link that video at the end of this one also. Alright gamers, that concludes this week in review for the week ending on September 27th. The week started with the PlayStation unveiling special 30th anniversary PlayStation Limited Edition controllers, a special edition PlayStation 5 Pro, and more. Then, we got both a Sonic Central and a Sony PlayStation State of Play, showing off and updating us on a variety of different games and projects. And the week ended with the Tokyo Game Show kicking off over in Japan, where for the first time this year, I think all three major console makers are going to be there in some form or another. I don't know if they're going to all have booths. I know Sony's going to be there with the booth, which will be the first time in a long time. But let me know anything we may have missed in the comments, and thanks for joining us today, gamers. Shodes World, out.